Um, and Shannon, you can hang around if you want to, but this is about the ladies, right? After bringing life or lives into the world, so many of us moms decide, you know what? It's time to reclaim our bodies. Um, some people say, give me a little nip little tuck. Some women are ashamed to admit that, that they've gotten work done, but our next guest says, no, you shouldn't be. Don't do that to yourselves. You deserve this. Amber Forrester, mother of two, life coach, well-being practitioner, is here to share advice with women who are considering a mindful mommy makeover based on her experience. And then there's Dr. Carlos Burnett, the plastic surgeon, can't do it without you, um, who helped counsel Amber and bring her vision to life. Um, one of two board certified black plastic surgeons in New Jersey. Looks like I'm going to New Jersey. Uh, good morning to both of you. Uh, Amber, I want to start with you. You're beautiful. Um, you're putting it all out there. I guess, tell us why. Why did you decide that, you know what, I'm going to get a body makeover? Yes. Well, thank you. First off, good morning and thanks for having us. I'm glad we could have this discussion because it is so important to be had, especially at this time when people are going out and doing this so frequently. So, you know, I was not satisfied with the physical results that I was able to get on my own. And after trying kickboxing and weightlifting and TRX and PRX and all oh, wow. of these things, I just, I was <laughs> not getting the results that I wanted. And after being 39 with two kids, I asked myself some questions and being big on self-improvement, um, my professional is actually, my profession is personal and professional development. I just said, you know, I'm big on self-improvement. This is one of my values. So this is something that I'm gonna consider and did a lot of research and decided if I met all of my requirements, I do it. And finding Dr. Burnett helped me get to that place because he checked every box. Okay, well, the picture is worth a thousand words there. I hope Dr. Burnett, uh, Burnett has your permission to hang it up in his office as this could be you. You know, here's the after picture. Um, doctor, it is an important life-changing decision though, right? You do want to make sure you're in good hands. And so I want to know about board certified, you know, because not everybody's board certified. And then there's black bodies versus other bodies. So, so how important is that? So that's very important, and I thank you for having me. Um, essentially, what we find is a board-certified plastic surgeon, and that's very important to say board-certified plastic surgeon is the person who's doing your care. Because many times you'll find someone says they're a cosmetic surgeon, and a cosmetic surgeon may have mm. taken a weekend course in liposuction, and that's the person who you may have doing your major procedure, which could be several hours of surgery. So. You have to get someone who's board certified in plastic surgery, not in geriatrics, not in pediatrics, someone in, in plastic surgery. And you should also look for a surgeon who does this type of surgery that you're interested in, because the person who's doing the noses may not be the person who's doing the bodies, yeah. you know? So there, there are a few things that have to come to mind to the uh, educated consumer as they um, look for their plastic surgeon. So tell me though, um, Amber, what was it about your, your previous body that you just said, I can't live with this anymore? It wasn't a matter of, I can't live with this anymore. I, I love myself, I loved my body, but I did not like everything about it. And it, it was a matter mm -hmm. of, I had a choice and I decided that I it was my body and my decision. And as long as I could stand up and look at myself in the mirror and not be ashamed of my decision, then it was a choice that I decided to make. What was most important is that I made sure I was doing it for all of the right reasons for me and how it would affect my daughter. I have a 10 year old daughter and the conversations that I have with her around self love and, um, and you know, also that I was going with someone that I knew was gonna take really good care of me, that I wasn't just going out and finding the cheapest doctor who could do what I wanted, yeah. um, you know? So it was um, it was definitely a decision that I uh, took a lot of thought and reflection and coming to make my decision, but I, it, it wasn't something I couldn't yeah. live with. It was something I chose to improve and I okay. did. So can you tell us, do you wanna share with us exactly what you got done? I don't, I don't exactly wanna share okay. exactly what I got done. I, I, but I do, I wanna share that, um, you know, I, I had some body contouring done. So I will say that. Okay. And I made 
decision, um, and one of the things in my decision was having a close community, a circle, a vulnerability circle that I could talk to and share everything with. Okay. And so I do have, and I, I do believe that that's a healthy part of doing the procedure and being mm-hmm. able to have that face, but just not on national television. <laughs> Yeah, well, Shady, look, Amber, as shady as I can be sometime, like, you know, just a couple seconds ago, I do think not everybody needs to know everything. So good for you. Uh, Dr. Burnett, do you ever tell, look, Amber looks like she already had a good foundation. You probably didn't have to do much to her. But do you ever say no when a woman comes to you and says, you know what, just keep my teeth. I want everything else changed. Yes, we do. We do. Um, what we always think about is realistic expectations with our patients. So we try to be as mindful as we can about that. And there are times that we have to turn away patients. They may not be um, physically up to the surgery. They may not be emotionally ready. So you have to kind of, you, you can't say yes to everyone. And we wish that, um, you know, you have to be tactful with when you do that, but you always have to be looking for the best interest of your patient. So. Some patients, this is not the surgery for them. It's an emotional roller coaster, some of these procedures. So, you know, you really have to be careful as the surgeon as you guide your patients. So if somebody says they want to be Cardi B on top, Meg the Stallion on the bottom, you might say, well, we'll pick one. Um, I guess, Amber, how did you feel? We're just almost out of time. How did you feel right after? And how do you feel now that some time has passed? Did you get everything you wanted emotionally out of this? Yeah, yeah, I will say um, physically and emotionally, and it's a mental thing that's attached to it as well. There is an extra boost of confidence in not having to be insecure about that thing anymore that I guess concerned me before. And uh, just I'll say mentally, I prepared for this and really took Dr. Burnett's advice and looked at what my needs would be and make sure made sure that I had everything that I needed, that I was resting, that I knew how to sleep, that I had my support system to be proactive about having that well-being and that healing after the procedure. All right, well, we are out of time, but Dr. Burnett, just real quick, 10 seconds or less, uh, I know somebody who might need some time off from the show to get some contouring. How how many days off will she need? Is for a friend? So, so for a friend, reasonably, it should be about two weeks, two weeks or so. By the third week, the oh. patient feels remarkable but the second week patients are back to work and pretty much back to normal All right. so yeah your friend has she time. have to fake an illness okay she's gonna have to fake a little illness dr burnett uh we appreciate you amber forrester dr carlos burnett thank you so much for starting your day with us um i'm gonna look you up doctor <laughs>